You're watching The Advocate on Plus TV Africa. A scam only works if you're oblivious to it. The magic of the Nigerian stock market. It's more like the more you look, the less you see. With the bank reforms that Professor Chukuma Soludo instituted, resulting in a recapitulation of banks, with almost all of them going public, there was this scramble, indeed almost a frenzy, to buy shares of banks and newly minted publicly quoted companies on the Nigerian stock exchange. I remember at that time, the scramble to acquire bank shares in the early to mid 2000s. So many people lost their shares, the shares on their back as they were sold properties, mortgage assets to buy shares that are now what pennies. Indeed, on a personal note, my wife and I also caught the bug and we joined the race. No one wanted to be left out of the promise of future prosperity. We even bought shares for Ifechi, our daughter then, who was less than six months old at the time. We had high hopes. I remember we spent, I think, well over six million at that time to buy various bank shares. Today, the entire portfolio is what less than a fraction of the amount invested. I think I, I just did the calculation. It's actually less than 500,000, the whole thing. Um, so it's not even worth the paper on which it's printed. The reality that the Mbaz went through were not the only ones that lost out. In fact, it would seem that the entire spectrum of Nigerian middle class at that time probably got scammed. Unless you were one of the very few people on the other side of the divide, the smart stockbrokers and insiders who knew that this was all a bubble and could get sold at the artificially inseminated high stock prices and bought homes on the island and some even offshore in Atlanta and Toronto. I'm not naming some of my friends. They know themselves when they see this. At the end of the banking reforms, we had newly minted millionaires and billionaires, the birth of new money. However, it's important to note that, I'm not saying that everything is 419, but it's important to know that the stock market, it's called a market. So where trading of stocks and shares happen, the forces of demand and supply should happen, where buyers and sellers are free to enter and leave. The issue for me is, however, the absence of a strong regulatory oversight of the market by the Stock Exchange and the Securities and Exchange Commission. So over time, they've not done very well at this job. But back then, I tell you this, some of the shares, even now, should have been delisted because a lot of the shares continually went into negative, but yet some of them still remain. Um, so we have very poor corporate governance. We have a lot of insider trading that's going on. Shareholder value is not considered as an index. No CEO of a major corporation in Nigeria today is measured by stock market price or gains. And this is not a, a, it's seen as a measure of leadership performance, which means more often than not, common stockholders are left with the short end of the stick, always. The fact remains that a serious interrogation of what went on during those crazy times never happened. No one has really interrogated what, what happened then. And it hasn't happened even now. What were the indices that were used to arrive at those ridiculous share prices? Some went as high as 60 naira a share, I remember. Who monitored the process? It will appear now the entire system was rigged against the majority of middle class, who were financial illiterate. And some of us still are not very good at knowing the math around stock market. And all of us were gullible, hungry, and desperate to join the new financial prosperity train. The system remains the way it is, even till today. But the NSC and the SEC needs to step off its regulatory oversight and do more in terms of financial investment education and instituting proper corporate governance. All over the world, people, especially the people within the middle class, look up to the stock market as a somewhat safe destination to pack their retirement savings. I don't think this is the same in Nigeria. Yeah. You're spot on. Uh, do you know, Ed, even during that uh, stock um, market boom, mm. Um, I was lucky because I spoke with um, somebody who was a banker and he said, look, he called it voodoo economy. Mm. He said, my yeah, brother, this right. is voodoo economy. Mm. What is happening is that banks will give you loan to subscribe to their shares. Then the moment the shares are, shares are by subscribes, the first of market and uh, demand and supply. Yeah. So the price will naturally go up. So they say, oh, the shares are by subscribes and then it goes up. And that's very soon they will come down. Yeah. Crash. So I just kept my twenty thousand naira then that I wanted to invest. Yeah. So since that time, I took you know my time to continually monitor. And there was one matter I handled with one of the banks too. The lady took a loan from the bank, mortgaged her house, and bought shares. When the shares were crashing at thirty million, she said, "Look, sell. Let me have my money." They said, "No, madam, just hold on, just hold on." Only for that same share to come down as low as three, mil th three million, yes. They now say, yes, madam, I want to take over your property. Mm -hmm. You know, because 
And he said, at the point I asked you to sell, I gave you instruction letters, but you didn't sell. Now you want to take over my property. Mm. But somewhere we were able to meet at a, 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 a middle ground and then, you know, she paid some money and, you know. So all of the, even now, recently, um, uh, late um, uh, Boyo, he just died, yeah. raised also a so. genuine concern yeah. on the FDIs. You know, when you, they send you dollars from abroad, you collect Naira here. They no longer give you dollars. But he's asking the he asks a major question. Mm -hmm. The dollars, where is it going? Where to? Yeah. It go to That's it? another well, area also we need to look at. Yeah, I mean, I have to come in here because um, during that time, I was actually, you know, a stockbroker. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So I must say that, to be honest, I really do feel that you lot were, those of you that Scott. weren't on the inside, were kind of like hung out to dry because you really didn't know what was yeah. necessarily going on in the market. Um, I, one problem I have with Nigeria is that financials don't mean anything. Thing. You know, you're really supposed to use the financials in order to decide, yep. you know, how strong the stock is and that sort of thing. But here, yeah, it really doesn't matter. You see all manner of funny stocks that, like you said, should have been delisted a long time ago. They're still hanging around. Um, I know I bought because of, I was on the inside. Mm, <laughs> you know, okay. you I, I, yeah, so I was able to buy shares and also know when to let go of them. But I just wanted wow. to tell you an interesting story about um, a lady that worked in Zenith Bank um, at the time. She... Obviously, I eventually worked out what she was doing. You know, she was producing millions and millions of Naira, saying I should buy stock here, buy stock there and everything. So I bought the stock. But then unfortunately for her, um, prices started to crash. And she was now frantically saying sell, sell, sell. But selling depends on the market. Buyer, yeah, buyer, yeah. So. Are there people to buy. So we couldn't even sell the stock. So from, I think she had about 10 million, went to 7 million, went to 5 million, and she was just watching her life drain from her. Why? Because she had taken clients' money and used it to invest the in the stock shares. market, yeah. yeah, hoping that she... The first she time she did back. it, she made a profit. Mm -hmm. The second time she did it, that was it. That was and, and I think she pretty much lost her job at that point. So, yes, you know, I really do think that we need to get to a point where the financials mean something. Because mm. if otherwise, we are just gambling. I mean, yeah. it's really, it's a pointless yeah, we're, market. We're MDs are judged by the Range yeah. Rovers, mm. the driver, and yeah. the that, value. You know, so, if, stock. so if, you look at, if you look at Apple, for example, Tim Cook, he, his, his salary is dependent on the share price movement. Yeah. So okay. if, in fact, any CEO on Wall Street, if for three quarters your share drops, you probably will leave the business, they will fire you, your yes. board will fire you. Yeah. But in Nigeria, stocks I mean, drop. Anything. And you're still there for yeah, 10 years, listed. for 20 years, and you're still living, listed, and you're still yeah, living yeah, large. Yeah, still living and meanwhile, we that bought the stock, we are, we, we are more, we're impoverished. Meanwhile, you, you, you are doing well. I, it just doesn't make sense yeah. to me. I remember there was a chairman, chairman managing director of Lever Brothers. Um, that's Nigeria, Lever Brothers. Mm. And um, I remember that time, Lever Brothers shares went up to about 60 Naira, when shares would probably be normally about mm. 15. It was unbelievable. It was either this guy was a genius or a scammer. And so he left, as soon as he left, the company the next year was in serious trouble. So by the time the annual reports were ready, it was clear that that couldn't have been the company last year. Yeah. Yeah. So, and that's when I knew that the stock market was going to crash. You know, I, I don't say the name of the particular IMD, but I'm sure uh, if you don't know, you will know. You, you, know, you can find <laughs> if out. you know, you know. Uh, or, and you will find out. At this, uh, at this point, you mentioned the Security and Exchange Commission. Mm. So one wonders what were they doing at this point? What were they doing the, the, at the point? The, the, they were in on it. They were in on it. They were in on it. The because stock because exchange, they were all in on this it. This is the corruption we talk yeah. about. Like, Once like, you're so able to agree, I mean, companies or banks with shares shouldn't be listed on the stock exchange market. So we're being listed simply because you could grease a few palms and then your stock just... Uh, the, Sandra, and like, gullible like, Nigerians. Yes. Then, all right. I, I'm I, among the gullible. Yeah, right. I, I, last week, I said something. I said, in America, under the law, everything is, prohib is permitted except those that are uh, prohibited. prohibited in in uh, Britain under the law everything is prohibited except, except those that are permitted. Mm. But in Nigeria everything is permitted, permitted including those that are prohibited. No, one thing and, and so all of these regula mm. regulatory agencies and the rest sometimes why people lobby to get to these places is that so that all you know what's oversight in Nigeria you get there. Yes. So I found the fault. So okay, where's my own insight? And the moment you get yours, you look the other way. And yeah. so that's basically Correct. what's happening. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why nobody will get, even if you're fired, 
because your company came crashing, mm -hmm. yes, nobody will prosecute you. Correct. Well, I'm, you just I'm, I'm will sorry that you're, you're, no, no, no. I said, because you know, <laughs> next time I'm coming, you know, you, you I'll were, show you. Probably you, know, you, you were doing the right thing <laughs> because, like in in more developed society, you're so, you're not supposed to just go into the market and pull out, go in and pull out. Right. You know, America was investing. I was investing for the future time. of my kids. So yeah. it was so. It's too sad that from six million. What you have is five hundred thousand. So I don't should set up a panel to investigate you. <laughs> Let's no, it's not me. <laughs> yeah, we are one of them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, guys, we promise you that this edition will be loaded with sauce, since the taste of the pudding is in the eating. Like liberals will say, we are ready to verdict. So send in your comments on our social media platforms on Facebook Plus TV Africa hashtag the Advocate NG or on Twitter and Instagram at Plus TV Africa hashtag the Advocate NG. And to catch up with previous broadcasts, go to PlusTVAfrica.com forward slash the Advocate. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel Plus TV Africa. Remember, Team Advocate is made up of all of us. So let's keep advocating for a better society. Bye. Bye. Welcome to The Advocate, a program that thrashes out all the topical issues of the day. When you are in government, you don't see nothing wrong mm, with exactly. whatever is happening. The moment you are out there, everything is that wrong. Is, you can't even see yes. many women now, and when they're there, they're not even really making a mark, and then they have an NYSC problem, and this is that. Really? It's disastrous for a president to, even to be unaware of it, the chief it's justice. It's a ploy. It could be a strategy. That strategy was it's a very, terrible, very, strategy. very terrible <laughs> strategy. Because the box stops at your table. Whether it's that we don't look after our cities, and quite frankly, Nigeria is becoming a very ugly place. Mm. When you are the only one feeding the people with this news and there is nobody countering them, it becomes, you know, the, the news.